M Dub, thank you for a five dollar super chat. My buddy flies with his controller set to mode three. I fly mode two. Is there an easy way to fly each other's quads without having to reconfigure? Yeah. Um, what you do is you kick your buddy in the nuts while he's flying. And then when he falls over, grab his controller, reconfigure it to mode two, put it back in his hands, and say, do it right. Done. Problem solved. Um, <laughs> uh, you don't have to reconfigure beta flight. All you would have to do... How would I do this in real life? I think if you just go into radio setup and change the control mode... It will make that change. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's... Yeah. You could also uh, do it like in a model if you swap the channels. But it's a radio. It's it's not the channel order. So the radio. The right. By the way, uh, you like my legs? You like my shorts? Yeah. Check check these out. You know you're classy if you got suede Crocs. <laughs> Suck it, Europeans! You got suede Crocs over there? Uh-uh. You don't have suede Crocs. You may have your teeth all in your mouth because you have dental care. You ain't got no suede Crocs, though. Marka. Um, so you've got the physical controls of the gimbals, and those are mapped to the control inputs. And I think, we're going to find out right now, that if I just make that change... You're going to learn something to so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go, you can't see this because the camera is there. I could set the, hang on, hang on, give me one second. I could do this. I can do this. I have the power. Oh. Let me turn that on. Then we go to overhead cam. Boom! It's almost like I'm a professional at this. <laughs> Um, every so often, I feel like I'm good at my job. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, if you look right now, model, page, uh, no, I, I got it, I got this. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the channel monitor. And you'll notice that channel 3 is the throttle, and channel 4 is the yaw axis, okay? So now, I'm going to go sys, system, Radio setup, and here we go. We're going to change the mode from mode two to mode three. And I think that now the channel mapping should be the same. So channel, nope, nope, it sure isn't. The channel mapping changed. Okay, I was wrong. Okay, so you would need to have separate wait, models. Wait, wait. No, what? But you're saying the throttle should be on the right, right? Like it moved three before and not moves two. So that it, yeah, it but my change. point my point was that I was hoping that changing the radio mode would change which stick controlled the throttle, but not which channel the throttle was on. You follow? But it didn't. Gotcha. It didn't. It didn't work like I thought. So yeah, I was hoping there was one more layer of abstraction than there actually is. So never mind. Uh, first, let's put my radio back to the sane mode. So what you would have to do is you would have to create a second model with the channels remapped to a different order. Or you would just have to bind his quad to your radio. There's various ways to do it. But I, I, I stand by my first, my first recommendation Oops, that's not right. Which is, convince your buddy to fly mode 2 like a freaking normal person. Okay. I'm, no, I'm um, uh, uh, Sunshine, is that you? Sunshine says, wouldn't you have to change the channel mapping in beta flight? No, what I'm suggesting is you would go into the mixer screen and you would change the channel order in the radio so that the beta flight channel mapping was the same. Then you would remap the channels in the radio so that so that the order is the same. <laughs> Captain Droneyverse says, how do I lock Betaflight so if somebody stole my quad, they can't do anything to change the setup? 
I'm not even sure that that's possible. Blunty, do you fly mode three? Yep. Yeah. Can um can I can I will you stand over here please, and look the other direction? <laughs> I'm gonna need to kick you in the nuts. I'm sorry. <laughs> why do you fly mode three for the? For, I know, I know. I I remember this story. Tell the tell the people why you fly mode three. Uh, the reason I fly mode three is because uh, I don't care about flying anybody else's equipment. So the way I went into learning was that when I started, I tried all four modes. I switched my radio. Uh, you know, to try the other two, and I tried throttle on the right with both, and I tried throttle on the left with both, and I could fly in about the first minute with mode three, and the others I would flip and crash in the ground. So my yeah. assumption is that I have some inbuilt learned something from Xbox uh, controllers mm -hmm. playing Battlefield or similar games mm -hmm. where I'm flying helicopters, and I, that's how I have the authority. Because on Xbox, at least on the Battlefields that I've played, the right stick is throttle. Um, mm -hmm. So that's my guess, is that I just have that inbuilt thing. So my thought was, why would I waste the muscle memory? Because I don't care about flying anybody else's anything anyway. Let's just use it, and we'll start off uh, good. And I was able yeah. to get around a racetrack in like 30 minutes. So there I feel like that was that was beneficial. Okay, I don't think you should tell people. Because someone in the chat, Justin Mueller in the chat is like, nobody ever told me I could try other stick modes. And I feel like this is going the exact opposite of the direction that I would like the conversation to go. Because now people are like, wait, you can do that? And I'm like, don't do that! Just fly mode 2, you freaking... Uh! Just to be clear, at least the historical thing has always been that U.S. is mode two and U.K. Uh, is mode one. But I don't know if that's still that, the case. I think it's Australia, isn't it? That's mode one. Oh, I thought is it was it like also Europe. UK? I don't know. Okay. European people tell us the truth. Historically, if you're in like Europe or U.K. Uh, or Australia or New Zealand, like tell us where you're from and whether historically your people fly mode one. You know, in uh, Australia and New Zealand, they actually hold the controller upside down <laughs> because they're because <laughs> no, it's not very. <laughs> That's a good one. I also want no, to tell it's, No, it's not. Don't encourage me. I also want to tell chat, um, if you're already flying, like if you're here and you've flown in the sim for a couple hours, I would not switch. Don't switch, uh, yeah. And that's because you've already gotten past the point, I think, of where you've started to unlearn that previous muscle memory. Now, maybe it's worth a try anyway. I mean, you could do what you want. It's your life. But I would say if you're a couple hours in, unless you're just crashing the ground every time you take off, I would just go with where you're at. Yeah. Try mode two. I would say try mode two. Give it a few hours, and if it's just really not clicking for you, maybe a different mode. But there's a I huge advantage to flying in mode two. Okay, if, well, you, if you really want to fly with other people and stuff, then I agree. But I think there's a lot of people like me who don't give a like, shit about somebody else grabbing my radio. I, I don't care. I could no, care less about any of that. It's more than that, though. It's more than that. I'm going to argue a little bit, even though I respect your opinion. I'm going to argue. For, it's like It'd be like saying, uh, I'm going to drive in the United States, but I'm going to buy a car with right-hand drive. I don't care about driving anybody else's car. I'm only going to drive my own car, but I'm going to buy a right-hand drive car. And the thing is, like... It's not okay. So, like that, the roads are set up for left-hand drive, etc. It's not a perfect analogy, but the point is, not only are you locking yourself out of flying anybody else's gear, but also, like, if I go to take a, a class, right? If I'm looking at a stick overlay for a trick tutorial, if I fly mode three and I look at a mode two stick overlay, I'm not going to innately and intuitively understand what the sticks are doing. I don't know. I mean, it's, I'm going to be like, oh wait, where's the throttle? Oh, I see. You know, and if, if I go take a lesson, if I'm trying to learn how to race and the guy's like, you know, so like I feel like there's more to it than just I don't care about flying other people's drones. I think it's a little deep, what, bigger than that. I'll just say I have not encountered any of those issues. Well, you're actually living it. So I guess uh, that carries some weight. 